Good people, Ron Manila, funny guy cooking. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your week. Today, I am going to try something a little bit different. One of my favorite meals of all times is a Monte Cristo. Chris, is it Monte Crisco? No, Monte Crystal. Cristo. Cri yeah, Cristo. So today I am gonna try and make this for you guys, but I am gonna try and do it the keto way. I've never done it before, but I love or I used to love the regular Monte Cristo. So I'm gonna try and do it the keto way and we are gonna see what happens and uh, pretty much go from there. I did pull some ingredients off um, online uh, last night and um, we'll see how this bad boy turns out. I'm gonna take you guys through it every step of the way. So first we are gonna need, um, so, I'm sure you know that the original Monte Cristo calls for regular flour. I am going to use almond flour because, you know, I have to try and make it the keto way. I don't use, I cannot use regular flour. So, like I said, this is the first time I am going to be making this with you guys. So, we'll see how it turns out and pretty much go from there. Um, so, I'm going to be using almond flour. It's calling for one and three-fourths cup of almond flour. So, look for one and three-fourths cup. Let's get this. One and three-fourths. Yeah, it's calling, it was calling for regular flour, of course. Um, so I'm gonna use almond flour, one and three-fourths cup. And there, um, oh, one and three-fourths cup of water as well. I'm gonna use one and three fourths cup of water. So I got one and three fourths cup of water going in there. One egg. Um, a teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of baking powder. Man, I sure hope this is gonna turn out good. I've never uh, never made this before and I'm using, I'm using um, almond flour. So we'll see, and a fourth teaspoon of some salt. See that? All right, mix this, mix this up. Got get all that gooey gooey in there. Boy, I, I sure hope this turns out decent. You're also gonna need some oil. I'm gonna fry this bad boy. So let's heat the oil up. Let's get that heated up. They, they did say it should come out looking um, like a pancake type mix, but um, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I feel like I probably should. Uh, like I said, I, I've never used it with almond flour. I've never used it with any flour. I've never made this before, so I don't know, man. We're going to see what how this turns out. They say I'm supposed to dip it when I dip, you dip, we dip in my uh, my flour. So I'm going to keep mixing and see what we got. Figure eight that bad boy, you know what I mean? Get that on and pop it. But if it does turn out good, you saw it here first. You saw it here first. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Also hit that little bell so you know when I upload 
some new videos. You can also follow me on Funny Guy Cooking on Facebook, Instagram. I would really appreciate it. That's of course if you like my videos. You probably don't like my videos, but I don't know. Hopefully I can get some new new fans out of you guys. All right, I got that mixed up. My oil's heating up. You're probably wondering what I am gonna put my stuff in. Well, 647, 647, six grams of net carbs in the bread. Um, I actually purchased this at Kroger. Um, got this at my, my nearest Kroger. And, they, and it comes in um, different uh, flavors, I guess. It comes in, I think I saw, it comes in wheat, some other stuff, I don't know. I got plain white toast, all right? And this is how I'm gonna hook my stuff up. Got my little batter there. Oil's heating up. I'm gonna load this bad boy up with um, Swiss cheese. I'm gonna put Swiss on both sides, all right? Just some smoked turkey. Load that up. Lay that on in there. Actually, I'm gonna take the cheese. Oh, you can see that. Put that on that side. And then I am gonna take some black forest ham. Cook that up as well too. Anyway, you guys are gonna get to see this with me today. I don't even know if you can't, man, you know, I didn't even look it up. I don't even know if you can fry um, anything with almond flour. I probably should have put this in my, my air fryer. So I got Swiss, turkey, Swiss, and some hum right there. I'm gonna put this together like so. Oh no. Bro, turkey's so good. I'm gonna eat that up. I need to hold this together. So, what I'm gonna use, toothpicks. Need some toothpicks. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to take, kind of pin it, I guess, at an angle so I can dip it so it does not fall apart. Like so. Here we go. And I'm going to wait till my oil gets super hot. I'm gonna dip it in here, and then I'm gonna dip it in the oil. And um, I'm gonna show you guys as I'm doing that whole process too, but right now I'm gonna let my oil heat up and get very hot. So I'll check back in with you in one second. All right guys, so my oil seems to have gotten fairly hot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tongs, just like that, gonna dip it flip it like so let some of that excess dry off and I'm gonna hold it down let it get brown Just like so. Get rid of this. Let it get brown on both sides. I 
I want it to get as brown as a brown. And I put the toothpicks on it so the so the sandwich doesn't uh Let it do its thing. Turn it up a little more. And it's definitely starting to get brown. That's what I want. I got my little uh, plate with napkin on it so we can let that let that drain out. It's one of my favorite meals. Monte Cristo. So we'll see how this thing turns out. Like I said, this is my first time making it. You guys are watching me make it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'ma flip it, yes, yes, come to me, come to me, this is what I like right here, this is what I like, cook it up, cook it up, cook it up, cook it up, cook it, cook it, cook it up. And I hope this turns out pretty good because, you know, back in 2005, there was this restaurant that I used to go to that had this, and they closed down. I forgot the name of the restaurant. The thing was an Irish pub or something like that. Anyway, they had this Monte Cristo is where I tried it the first time, and I fell in love with it. And um, if this turns out to be good for keto it's probably going to be one of my most favorite things to make ever let it get brown on that side so look the two picks is holding it together pretty well and that's what i wanted so i'm glad i did that it looks good but i want to see how it tastes you know what i mean i want to see how it tastes so I'm gonna let it cook a few more minutes, let it get brown. This side right here is, as you, you can see, it's, it's getting super brown. That cheese is cooking. What I probably think for the next go around, what I probably should do also is maybe put two picks on the other sides as well too. So, cause you notice when I flipped it, it kind of slid a little bit, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, um, we'll see what happens. Go from there. I just want you guys to see with me if it's possible to even make it, you know what I mean? And make it keto as well. That's my biggest, my biggest thing is can we make this keto? Because I looked and I, I really couldn't see it. I really did not see it um, being made. So. Let the bottom get a little bit more harder. I can smell it. I wish you guys could just smell it. It smells super good. Super good. It smells super good. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot wait to just and just see what it does, you know? I don't want to burn it. A little bit more. Little bit more. Little bit more. Man, I doing this keto journey, man. You know, I, there's so many meals. 
that you can make on keto. It's crazy, you know, the, the amount of things that you can make and come up with, you know, on keto. So, I'll turn my stove off now. Now, let me see if I can get this out without messing anything up. Let me just drop it right on here. Scoot out my way, sir. So this is what we got. This is what it's looking like, right? So I'm gonna put this on pause because I'm gonna let the grease uh, sit on my napkin and, and let it let it do its thing. And then uh, I'll come back and we'll split it open and go from there. All right, guys. So now that I have let my grease drained out on my napkin here, this is what we have come up with. Right? But we're not done. We are not done. We gotta cut it. You gotta cut it, man. And see what the inside, let me just see if you can hear. Oh my gosh. Like I said, first time making this and I'm making this with you guys, so. Oh my God. <laughs> Look. Oh, 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 and we're still not done. And we're still not done. You got to get the powdered sugar on it. And you got to get the sugar-free raspberries. For the deep, man, for the deep, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I made keto... Monte Cristo. Quito Monte Cristo. So you gotta get the powdered sugar on. You already know what time it is with the powdered sugar, right? You gotta get the powdered sugar. Mm-hmm. Gotta get the pow gotta get gotta get the powdered sugar on it. You gotta get the oh oh my god. Can you can you guys see that? You gotta get the oh you gotta get the powdered sugar. Oh my god. Oh Hey, listen, this is keto. You know what I mean? This is... <laughs> this is keto. Yes, it's keto. <laughs> Bro, get you some. Get you some. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? I'm going to get me a spoon. Then we got some... Gotta, don't even, you know what? It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even. <sighs> All right. So we got to get the jam. Oh my God. We got to get the jam on there. You know what I mean? Get the jam, boy. Get the jam on there. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jam on it. Jam on it. Ch 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 jam. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gotta get the jam on it. Guys, guys. Listen. Monte Crisco. You guys probably want me to taste it, don't you? Ah! I can't taste it just yet. You know why? Because I gotta take a picture for the ground. So I'm gonna put this on pause. Snap me a photo, and then I'm gonna taste it with you guys. In uno momento. All right, guys, so now for the taste. I just took my picture, got everything straight. So now for the taste. Let's see what we got. Moment of truth. Oh my. God. Holy shit. Bro, listen. This is insanely good. 
Oh my God. Man, man. Man, man. I will always make this. This is keto. This is so good. You saw how I did it. Every step of the way. I'm going to post the ingredients below. Make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you hit that little bell thing so you know when I upload food like this. Look at, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Keto. Everything is keto. Ingredients are going to be attached below. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Funny Guy Cooking, Facebook, Funny Guy Cooking. And please, please, please make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button below. I am going to continue to enjoy my Monte, my Keto Monte Cristo. Yes, it is superb, right? It is so good. Go back, watch how I made it, make you one. I promise you, I promise you, this is so freaking good. And if you think the bread is in low carb, think again. Six grams net carbs. Yes. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Subscribing to Funny Guy Cooking all day, baby. I'm going to finish this up and enjoy this. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace out.